five essential pieces of software that you need to learn as a new VA. And I'm going to bet that you've probably not got number five on your list. So keep watching. Now, I know that you've been looking at other virtual assistants and thinking, I don't know half of the things that they're talking about. And you've probably convinced yourself that nobody's going to want the services that you were going to offer. And you guessed it, you're wrong. I also know that you've overwhelmed yourself. You've signed up for free trials. You've been looking at all this different software and you just, you've had enough. You don't know where to start. You're in the right place. In this short video, I'm going to tell you the pieces of software that you absolutely need to know and also one that you don't. And you won't need to know any more to enable you to get clients. I'm Catherine Gladwin and I've been a virtual assistant since late 2015 and I've been helping women just like you start, build and grow their own virtual assistant business since 2018. At the end of the video, make sure you hit subscribe and you'll never miss any of my future videos. Okay, number one on the list. And you've probably heard of it. You may have even started looking at it. You're going to get stuck down a rabbit hole with this one, by the way. It's brilliant. It's Canva. Canva enables you to create graphics and images as if you're like a degree educated graphic designer. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's a skill you want, not necessarily to offer other clients. It's a skill you want for yourself. It will enable you to create social media graphics. I create all of mine using Canva and also graphics for your website as well. And number five is going to be relevant to that in a minute. Now, number two, two, three and four actually are things that you're going to want to learn before you get your first client. Number two is a password sharing software so that your clients can share their passwords securely with you so that nobody else can see them. Ideally, you don't want them sending them via WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger or email. So the software that I use is LastPass. However, if your clients are technically challenged, they often really struggle with LastPass. So an alternative is one password that some people find a lot easier. So take a look at both of those. You might not even like LastPass. You can have the free trial on it. You don't need the premium at this stage of your business. I pay for premium so that I can have it on my phone because I do a lot of work on my phone, but you don't need to pay for it. Same with Canva. You don't really need the pro at the moment. You probably will later because you'll be addicted to it. Number three, you need some time recording software because clients will be expecting a time report at the end of every month or week, how often you send the invoices along with their invoice so they can see where time is being spent it's not that so that they can analyze what you're doing and what you're not doing it helps them see how efficient you are because we really are efficient as virtual assistants so much more efficient than an employee that's buggering about by the water cooler every day oh did i even mention what one to use toggle t-o-g-g-l is my favorite go and have a look at that ever so easy i think i might even have a video on how to use it if not I'll do one. Now, the last one you need to learn in readiness for your first client is something called Eversign. I think they've rebranded recently and I think it's pronounced Zodo. Why have a business name that nobody can pronounce? X-O-D-O. -O. And this is an electronic signature software. So you send your terms of business and your booking form via, I'm going to call it Eversign. You send it via Eversign and the client then signs it electronically. It's, it just makes life so much easier. Nobody has to print anything out, sign it and send it back fax it back hmm. remember faxes so you need to have a look at that software before you onboard any clients i've got a video that's really popular on onboarding clients so take a look at that and it will give you a little bit more information about the onboarding process now number five i said that you've probably not come across this on a list of anywhere that says this is the software you need to learn as a virtual assistant but this really is going to be life-changing for you and potentially for your clients as well and it's to learn wordpress you may have heard of WordPress. It's what I'm going to say like 90% of websites are built on WordPress. All of my websites are WordPress. I've made two out of the three of them myself with my own skills that I learned. I didn't have the skills before I became a virtual assistant. And once you know WordPress, you can then make changes to your own website yourself, which means you save a lot of money in asking other people to do it. So you can go and create graphics on Canva, upload them to your website. Six months later, don't like them, change them changing your prices, go online, change it. Having that WordPress skill can actually save you at least hundreds of pounds. Over the whole time of your business, it could save you potentially thousands. By creating my own websites myself, I have saved thousands, but also adding it as a service so you can maintain other clients or clients' websites as well can bring in a lot of money. If you go to katherinegladwin.co.uk slash WordPress, you'll see all of the figures and what I've made and what other people have made using the course that I've got. It really is a skill that not many virtual assistants have got. I don't know why, just not everybody wants to learn it or I've not told enough people about it yet. 
but if you go and have a look, you really will find that it's a fantastic skill to have for your business. Now, one thing you really don't need to learn, and that's scheduling software. So unless you're actually gonna offer social media scheduling as a virtual assistant, you really don't need to learn any social media scheduling software because things like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, I'm not sure about Twitter, but they really do not like you scheduling content from third party applications. They want you on their platform. Because if you're not going on there, if everybody was scheduling via third party applications, nobody would be on there to engage. Nobody would see any of the posts. So what they prefer you to do is either to post organically, so that just means to post there and then, or to use their own scheduling abilities within their own software. So don't worry about going off and learning Hootsuite or Later or Meet Edgar or any of those unless you're offering social media scheduling as a service. So that's one you can wipe off your list. Now, before I go off and leave you to have a look at all these pieces of software, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video from me. And let me know in the comments if there's any videos you'd like me to do and I will add them to my list. Have a great day.